The, the teaching with current CT technology is, uh, there's two main, two main issues that are coming forward. One is the general teaching of as low as reasonably achievable. So ALARA is what every radiologist is taught to try to image the patient with as little radiation as is possible. Uh, the other major campaign that's ongoing is called Image Gently. The uh, Society, uh, the American College of Radiology has promoted this campaign for uh, pediatric patients to try to reduce the dose as much as possible. Some of the novel ways that we can do that are, frankly, to reduce the number of scans that are performed. One way to do that usually has been to do three sets of images. What we've done at Bellevue and at other institutions in the area is to combine that into two scans, to administer the patient a small amount of contrast initially, followed by saline, so that that contrast goes through the kidneys and is in the bladder and urine at the time of the scan, and then give them a second dose of contrast. So what we've done is we've taken three scans and turned it into two and given the same information but as a result we've reduced the radiation dose by 50 percent. The other element is to reduce the overall dose. You can dose a patient very high or very low. Uh, what we have to do is to try to reduce the dose as much as we can to still get good images. Uh, this scanner has what's called 4D dose technology and so what it does is it takes an initial set of images that are very low dose called a scout image uh, in two planes and then sees essentially how large or how small the patient is and then adjusts the dose accordingly. Uh, that's for adult patients. We use an entirely different set of protocols for anybody under the age of 16 here where we induce a uh, pediatric protocol uh, where the scanner automatically reduces the dose even more so that the patient gets less dose and recognizes that, that these smaller patients need less dose. also goes back to what's the best thing for the patient uh, and being actively involved as a radiologist in patient care sometimes the lowest dose that you can achieve is zero dose and those are the instances where we use the MRI scanner and the ultrasound machine as, a, as an adjunct to the CT scanner when we can and to be able to shift patients around is an advantage sometimes it takes a little bit longer the patient may stay here a little bit longer um, but we can do things without administering the CT dose than we do. Research is coming out uh, that is supporting the utilization of low dose. There was a, it's called the National Lung Cancer Screening Trial that was done in the last five to eight years. During that trial, it was recognized that as we continued to reduce dose, there were trials that were done to see how small a nodule can one see with lower and lower doses. And, and as we lowered dose, we realized that we could still see these nodules. And the doses are amazingly low that can be used to still see small pulmonary nodules. And so we've instituted that here with a low-dose chest CT protocol where the patient gets more radiation they would get for a two-view chest CT, but a tenth of the dose they would get for a regular chest CT. This is a Siemens scanner, and, and while I like to buy American if I can, um, the Europeans are very, very good and have been much more sensitive to reducing radiation dose uh, than the Americans have over the past 10 or 15 years. Uh, and so the European designed and built scanners, such as Siemens and Philips, do a really good job. Uh, the GE scanners and Toshiba scanners are catching up and, and do a very nice job uh, of reducing dose when necessary, but really the, the, the Europeans have been on the forefront of, of reducing radiation dose, in my opinion. Uh, there are little safeguards that are in place on the scanner that have been designed with patient safety in mind. Um, they take one more button click and sometimes they can be an annoyance, but they're critically important to make sure that we, we are asking the right questions as we go along. Can we reduce dose anymore? Can we still get good quality images with a low dose? And with the scanner we can. We are reducing dose as much as we can actively by reducing the overall scan dose that's administered to the patient as well as as the the concept that the scanner itself monitors dose during the scan uh, for example uh, it will not be using the scanner at the very top of the patient's head and it starts the dose when it detects that the head is in place and so a lot of scanners will scan will have active radiation going above the patient's head this one does not it detects when the head starts and then starts the radiation dose going at that point uh, that that incremental little bit of one or two seconds of scanning of the air actually results in a fairly significant amount of scatter dose that the patient can receive. So it's, it's little things, but, uh, but the technology really is amazing in the newer scanners that are available uh, out there in the market today.